Good morning. Today is May 29th, 2018, and this is The Big Three with Princey. Last night, the Golden State Warriors defeated the Houston Rockets, becoming the champions of the Western Conference. They have successfully dunked their way into the NBA Finals and will play the Cleveland Cavaliers for the fourth time in a row. Oh, brother! The Cavs will fly to Oakland to play the team Thursday, May 31st. Speaking of flying... A Destrian televangelist pastor, Jesse Duplantis, is asking disciples to donate money to his ministry so that he can purchase a $54 million jet. The pastor went to Twitter and released a video and said this. I really believe that if Jesus was physically on the earth today, he wouldn't be riding a donkey. Think about that for a minute. He'd be in an airplane preaching the gospel all over the world. The ministry already has three other private jets. In 2015, the Washington Post released an article of Duplantis and Texas pastor Kenneth Copeland defending their need for private jets, arguing that on PJs, they can actually talk to God and are not bothered by prayer requests from demons on commercial flights. Let's all remember tonight to keep Duplantis in our prayers. North Korean General Kim Yong-chol is en route to New York in hopes of developing an official nuclear deal between the United States and North Korea. Initially, Trump and North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un were set to meet on June 12th, but Trump called the meeting off because of North Korea's tremendous anger and open hostility. He even threatened the leader by writing, You talk about your nuclear capabilities, but ours are so massive and powerful that I pray to God they will never have to be used. Fortunately for President Trump, the threat worked because the summit is now back on. President Trump tweeted this morning, We put a great team together for our talks with North Korea. Meetings are currently taking place concerning summit and more. Kim Yong chol the vice chairman of North Korea, heading to New York. Saw the response to my letter. Thank you. Let's hope the boys can lock away the nuclear weapons for once, put an end to the threats, and stop this game of... Anything you could do, I could do better. I can do anything better than you. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. I would like to say happy belated Memorial Day to all the men and women who have sacrificed their lives for this country. We are very grateful. Everyone else, have a good short week and keep the good vibes.